saying so the clone number 20,000. Hey, what up? Welcome. Um, <sighs> yeah, it's that good stuff. <clears throat> and damn, hello, welcome to my channel. Back to the vlog. Welcome to YGK channel. Well, is that a smudge on my? It's not. Anyways, hey, welcome back to the channel, bro. Let's get this shit square, bro. Short, short kings rise up. Short kings rise up, please. Okay. okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry to mess around. Welcome to the v v video. Welcome to the meal prep video. It's long overdue. I've been trying to make this for a while. I think I've tried to make a series of meal prep videos back in the day. I like honestly have restarted and started this channel countless times. I just couldn't figure out the flow. I think I'm starting to get it down now. It's just kind of like a random vlog lifestyle, fitness, -y, and then my shorts are just I don't even know, but that's not why you're here. Why I'm here is to make this video to help people with meal prepping. I just kind of want to show my process and actually my plan with this video is going to hopefully show you what I do on Sunday. It usually takes about three hours, give or take, to meal prep. I'll, I do it on Sundays typically, sometimes Saturday if I got, you know, we got travel or stuff going on. I get it done. I like having all my meals prepared for the week. I don't have to think about it. This is all about three things, efficiency, time, and just like taste. I guess, or value, I don't know. You're really just trying to make this as quick as I can, taste as good as it can, and the least cost as possible. So I started meal prepping years ago when I first got my like real job outside of college. I was commuting like 100 miles to my job one way. So this little company outside of Philadelphia from like Reading. It's like, it was 100 miles each way and I would spend so much on gas, I was driving a truck. So the only way I could really save money was pack from, you know, meals from home and take them to work. I was saving enough money to offset gas costs. Cost of eating out has gotten more expensive. You know, I know the whole meme of like, if you only stop drinking Starbucks two, three times a week, you'd have more money. I get that, that whole boomer thing, but it does add up like if you eat out enough times. This is really economical. Again, what I do on Saturdays, I, I meal prep everything. I mean, I don't wanna think about anything. I put all my little supplements in their container. I have a bunch of shaker cups I've just accumulated as lo a lot of us have over the years. I put my fiber in there in the morning that I take with my first meal so I don't have to even think about to scoop that out. I don't wanna like think throughout this process. I just wanna be able to go, right? So I just wanna be able to heat up my food in microwaves or just cook it real quick or on the go, cause I do travel. And I'll even like lay out the amount of like like food I need to like my containers here to calculate how many things I need of like rice and potato like you'll see in a second how I do it but I even line up my foil just so it's just kind of like autopilot it just efficiency is key for me so a lot of things I'm gonna do is probably not the best for like traditional cooking I, I am on a diet I'm on a cut it's kind of like the bodybuilding style so it's gonna be a lot less fat a lot less just overall calories trying to keep things as minimal as possible you might have different goals so just you can always add or remove things, but I like it doing this way because I could really know what's in my food. And then I do have a free meal once a week, which is like a cheat meal that I can kind of not really go off the rails, but just enjoy life. I like to keep things very efficient. What I'm gonna do today is walk you through all my meals. It only takes about two hours to cook if I'm like really on it. Normally I'm like cooking and doing like two, three meals at once. I'm gonna go one at a time so I can properly pay attention and film everything. And don't really worry about the portions, focus on just like, the general concept. So my diet's gonna be different, it's gonna be changing. It's changed since I made that very first video on this channel about what I ate in a day. Some things have been added, some things have been removed, the portion sizes. I'm gonna give you general guidelines. Again, don't follow my diet exactly to the T. My goals are gonna be different from yours. We're probably gonna eat a lot more to, compared to me. I am cutting, I am a smaller dude. That's the concept. All right, let's get this meal prep series started off right with the most important meal of the day, breakfast, which the first part includes oatmeal. And I get it, oatmeal, do you really need a video on that? Trust me, a lot of people get it wrong. So here I have quick oats or one minute oats, as the name implies. I just add a little bit of water, maybe a little extra, so it's slightly mushy, but not too soggy. And then I add a pinch of salt per the instructions. It adds a little bit of taste and I mix it up and add a little bit of Splenda, about a couple packets there. You can use stevia or whatever sweetener you like. And after about a minute in the microwave, this is what they'll look like. Again, if you add less water, the more dry it'll be. I give it a little mix and from here you're good to go, but I actually will go ahead and get my weight scale out per my meal plan and add about 80-ish 
grams of berries. So again, make sure you check out the instructions of the actual oats. One minute oats only take a minute in the microwave. Old fashioned take about three minutes. Rolled oats will take about five minutes. And anything that's less processed like steel cut, you might have to actually put on the stove top for a much longer time. Again, you don't wanna be eating raw oats. Here's a little breakfast hack for you for those of you who have trouble eating eggs. So I make a little scrambled egg starting off with a little bit of spinach, about a cup or so, and then I put it in the pan there just to get it going, add some water so it starts sauteing. I put that at about medium, medium high heat, measure out my egg whites, about 10 ounces, which is equivalent to 10 eggs, put the nonstick cooking spray on there, add my egg whites and crack two fresh eggs. From here, I'll set the temperature low and cover for low and slow, scramble it up. I'll go ahead and put some salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and here's a secret, MSG, monosodium glutamate. Look, it's safe. It actually adds a lot of flavor, a lot of taste, almost like this meat kind of taste, umami flavor. And I'll add some chopped chives as well, just to add a little bit of taste and some red chili flakes and mix it up. And of course, you know, I gotta add my sriracha. It's all zero calorie, keeping it nice and healthy and it's delicious, trust me. If you're having trouble getting eggs down and you hate the taste of eggs, egg whites, try this. This will definitely help make it more palatable. Time for a bodybuilding staple, chicken and rice, starting off with the rice. So for white jasmine rice, I take the amount I need for the week cooked and divide it by three because that's about the amount the rice will cook up to. Then I give it a wash about a couple times, get the excess starch off. Preferably you do this overnight, let it soak. And then I add it directly to a hot pot right there and actually toast it up a little bit. Gives it a nice texture, add a little bit of herbs such as rosemary, again, for a little extra taste. Then I add the water in here, which is actually double the amount of the uncooked rice. So for one uncooked cup of rice, which is two cups of water, add a bit of salt in there, get it to a rolling boil and cover it up immediately get it down to a low simmer for 12 minutes after 12 minutes is up i give it a nice fluff of the rice and take it off the heat cover it up for another three minutes for a total of 15 minutes and that's it there you go ready to serve or prep it for the rest of the week like i do now time to cook up the chicken breast. I like to take a large baking sheet, line it up with foil so it's easy to clean. And I actually like to broil my chicken on high, which actually cooks the chicken from the top. And here's the key, getting yourself a meat thermometer. You gotta kick it to an internal temperature of 165. So I put it in the largest, thickest part of the chicken and then use any kind of seasoning, low calorie or to zero calorie or zero sugar. I look out for that as well. Season up the first side, put it on the top for the broiler to get nice and hot. And about halfway in, about 110 degrees or so, I have the alarm go off and I take it out and flip it and and set it again to about 165 season the other side now you can cook it to about 150 155 because when you pull it out of the either the oven or if you like to grill it it'll start residual cooking so you can do that i like to cook it right at 165 i don't mind that it's a little overcooked i let it rest for about five minutes to let the juices redistribute then i cut it up and i'm ready for meal prep for the rest of the week so that's the key you make sure you want to get it yourself a thermometer to get the internal temperature to about 165 and remember when you reheat your food it'll actually cook it again Super easy to make protein yogurt or progurt or whatever you want to call it. It's like this chocolatey mousse consistency. So I start off with taking about a tablespoon of peanut butter, all natty. I measure it out and I also add my creatine in there. You can't even taste it. Then I add a scoop of protein. Doesn't matter what flavor. It actually pairs well with this non-fat Greek yogurt. So I measure about 170 grams, which is about a cup of that. And then I really get in there and work it. This takes a long time. I mean, I know a lot of people will add a little splash of like almond milk, water, things like that. But I just don't mind taking a couple seconds to really get in there and work this thing. And when you do, after a little bit of patience and time, you get a nice, smooth, creamy, again, like mousse type substance. And this is great. You can actually try different combinations of protein. I know the, a lot of flavors sometimes will have bits of like candy or crushed up cookies, things like that. I don't like to add extra calories to my meals as you've noticed so far, but this is actually really delicious. It's quick on the go. Again, it's really filling. Give it a try. This is probably one of my favorite recipes of all time. Ground beef, some veggies, and some sweet potatoes. Starting off with the sweet potatoes, I'll measure however many I need for the week. Sometimes I'll scrub them and peel them. Oftentimes I just kind of chop them up like this. I'm not the best at chopping, admittedly. And then I'll spray some cooking spray or some olive oil spray, whatever it is, just so this seasoning I put on there can have something to stick to. Otherwise it kind of just, you know, falls off. Give it a nice shake. And then I'll also make sure I'll add some fresh ground pepper and some salt. And from here, again, I'll take a foiled line baking sheet and spray it down with some of that cooking spray just so it doesn't stick on there when I put the sweet potatoes on and I kind of spread them out so they're not overcrowded and into the oven they go at 430 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 45 minutes every 10 minutes or so I come and check on it and you know spread them out make sure they're not overcrowded and stuck together just kind of flip them and when they're like nice and soft where you can actually break them with the spoon that's when you know they're ready and I'll measure it out for meal prep for the week on to the final recipe 
is my absolute favorite way of making ground beef. So about three pounds of ground beef, I use a tablespoon of salt, pepper, paprika, it could be smoked if you like, a little bit of ginger powder and onion powder. And I'll add it to a scorching hot pot there. And also add a little bit of MSG. That's the secret right there. After everything's nice and seared, I lower the temperature. And then I'll add some Pakistani spices, about a teaspoon of cumin and a little bit of coriander and some chili powder if you like it spicy. And then a ton of turmeric and from there i added a little bit of well a lot of garlic as you see that's usually towards the end i mix it up real good and i also add some dried cilantro of course if you use fresh ingredients it'll taste better but again this is all about efficiency this is delicious i also go ahead and microwave up some veggies there for the rest of my meal and oh my god what's happening um so yeah that's pretty much it that's my favorite meal you got beef broccoli and sweet potatoes add a little bit of mustard and sriracha enjoy and we're done. Many hours later. Don't look back there. It's still a little mess. I had family come over and we worked out with my brother. So kind of like broke it up into a longer, a much longer day than I anticipated. But usually I can get that done in about three hours or so. This was again inspired by just a lot of uh, young lads I've been having conversations with in their, in their teens and early 20s who just have trouble cooking, you know, either undercooked chicken, overcooked chicken, or in my brother's case, who's actually here right now on the couch. Hey, get over here. Hey, get on camera real quick. Literally the 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 reason why I was like, yeah, I need to make this. This is the doofus I was talking about earlier. Say what's up, doofus. Yo, what up? I ate raw oats. Yo, raw oats. This man was eating like rolled oats that probably needed to be cooked for another four minutes. Hey, come up, get back here. He's like complaining of a tummy ache. I was like, how old are you? Like 25, something like that? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, so you see the resemblance? Like clearly he got the hair genetics. I got, I guess, a little bit of height, but shoulders right out. So I'm like stinky. Like I was cooking. I was, I don't know. <laughs> I do this right. I was cooking. Oh God. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's happening again. Is it clipping? It's clipping again. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. What should they do, Yusuf? I His name is Yusuf, by the way. Hello, my name is Yusuf. I would say maybe like, maybe comment, and maybe subscribe. It's up to you. I'm not your dad. Oh, that's my line. Also share. You forgot to share. Like, share, subscribe. But yeah. Not your dad. I'm his brother though. But yeah, hopefully that helped. Spread the word. I'm gonna try to make more content in the future. I got a couple more things coming down the pipe. Pipe? The pipeline? I don't, that don't, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. But yeah, we hit shoulders today. Can't probably tell. Do I still have a residual pump? No, man, I'm small. But yeah, I'm trying to make more either entertaining or informative or value added content. Hopefully this is a step in the right direction. I don't have to get that close. Stay hydrated. Peace.